Okay, welcome back again, and uh, we're going to continue on this one. I'm going to leave that bug for now. We'll we'll figure that out after this. I just want to get this high score part out of the way so it's done. I had no idea it would take this long to get it working. Uh, so let's go back to Unity and our code. And in the main menu manager, um, I think we want to do it here. Yeah, I'm going to make a method here that actually adds in the new high score and we'll remove the the next lowest one so let's do public it's gonna take in and um what do we name that uh high score entry it's gonna take a high score entry sorry no uh we don't need to actually return anything public void let's do add new high score okay and it's going to take in a high score entry we'll do just new score entry okay so what we want to do is going to add I'm going to take the high score entry list dot add and we're going to add new score entry Okay, so that's in there. And then what I'm gonna wanna do is call uh, we might have to modify this. Um, you know what? No, we don't. Okay, so let's call in here. Let's call save scores. So this is going to sort and then save the new scores. And then after that's done, what we'll do is high score entry list dot remove at. And we're going to want five. So because we're only keeping track of five scores, um, this uses count but it starts at zero so we we want five which will be zero one two three four which is five so the fifth entry is actually the sixth number so if we remove that because save sc scores sorted it this is going to remove the the sixth score in the list which is now the the lowest one which doesn't exist anymore so we're going to go with this let's test this out quick so if we go to our game controller where we did it here, what we are going to do is, if it is a new high score, and it comes in here, let's call my main menu manager dot add new high score, and then we're going to have to make um, a high score entry. So for now, I'm just just so we're gonna test, we're gonna do new high score entry. And then I think we can just do it like this where we can do score equals this dot score. And name equals, we'll just put in three S's for now, just so we know. I believe that should not give an error. Let's try this quick. So it's not going to give us anything visual to see. But we'll at least be able to see it when we go back to the high score. So let's do a quick test. Let's destroy a few. Okay, so either way we've got a new high score. Just let our stuff get destroyed. I should have sped this up, but we'll give it a minute. And I think this is actually going to hit all of them. Sweet, that's perfect. Okay, so game's over. We'll have to we'll have to fix that too. Actually, where it doesn't wait for the end of the round, it just automatically kills you because because that was the last missile it gave it. So that's one other bug. But if we restart now, 
Check high score. Okay, so it added it multiple times, but, but it did at least add it. So let's go back here. And that's just because we got it on update. So that's normal. Uh, normally after this, we'll have something that sends it back to the game over screen or something there. So that system is at least working. What we got to do now is make a UI. So let's go back here. We got to go to scenes, go to game on our canvas. We're going to want to add, let's just do a image. I'm going to call this a uh, new high score panel. Let's make it, I don't know, something like this. I'm just going to make this one quick for now. Uh, we, we can pretty it up later. Center. Copy that. I'm going to move it over here. I'm just going to put initials. Make this a bit smaller. Okay, and here we're going to add. Uh, input field text mesh pro. Okay, let's just kind of line it up here roughly. Uh, we can edit the settings in that later. For right now, I'm just going to leave it all as, as everything default. So it's not pretty, but it's what we, it, it'll do what we need for now. And then let's add a button as well. And for this one, I'm just going to call the text submit. Okay, so we have this. Let's go back to our game controller. Serialize this private game object. And let's call this one new high score panel. Okay, I'm going to go to game controller. Uh, there's our new high score panel. So let's add this in. Okay, so we got a reference to it there. What we're going to do is in here, we'll comment this out for now. We'll do new high score panel dot set active true. That'll make it display. And then you just got to add a quick little method. We'll do public void submit click. Okay. And when submit is clicked, what we're going to do, that's when we're going to submit this. Where did it go? Okay, so we'll do this. Score is this, and we just got to change name. So name is going to be equal to, we just got to make another reference here. Serialize bill of private. This one is going to be, I think it's TMP underscore input. Yeah, underscore input field. And we'll call this uh, new high score initials. Okay, let's go to the end. This is going to be equal to new high score initials dot text. 
Okay, so that should submit it. So you actually get it added. And then what we will do here is, you know, on the actual game, if you got a high score, it didn't go to the game over screen. So we'll just do here, scene manager dot load scene main menu. And I'll just go back to the main menu and then you could start a new game. Okay, and if you did not get a high score, then we're gonna wanna do scene manager dot load scene. And what are, do we call it game over or the end? Okay, so if you don't get a high score, then it's gonna go there. So I think that should be good. So a new high score, let's just hide that. Actually, you know, we just gotta go, let's go to the button, add a click, add the game controller. And then we need to do, I totally forgot what we called it here. Submit clicked. Okay, so now we can hide this new score panel. Let's do a save. Let's go back to main menu and let's try our game. And now that we were doing that, that check, it should only save it once. There should still be a low score in there. So I think if we just let it go as is, we should be fine. You know, just in case I'm gonna destroy a bunch. Okay, so now we have a high score, so let's lose this round. Hmm, we might be having that bug with the new one again. So yeah, we'll have to fix that after. Okay, well, it came up anyway, so if we click in here, I'll just do MMM, submit, and we got a no reference. Why is that? I'm not sure why this gave a no reference. That is very strange. Everything should be... Oh, no, we didn't drag in the... the high score box. Okay. Uh, we just gotta go back to our game, our canvas. New high score one. Okay, we gotta go to our game controller and new high score initials. We need to drag in the input field. Sorry about that, but these things do constantly happen. So that's a normal Unity thing to get used to. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu. We're gonna test her out again, and we should be almost good here. Let's just check the high scores. Okay, so we just need to get over 10, 175. So you know what, uh, first round, let's just actually win this round. Okay, there we go. Okay, we have a high score. So let's let everything get destroyed here. Just about done. Okay, so we got this. So I'll try that again, I'll do MMM. And that's one thing when we click in there, we may want to disable if our mouse cursor's over there. That's weird that it's not loaded. It's not doing anything when we click here. We'll have to figure out what's going on there too. But uh, it did save our high score, so that is working. You know what, I'm gonna leave this video here and then 
either we'll fix those bugs first or the only things left that I can think of is we just gotta make a, a bit of a scene on the uh, the game over screen, the end screen, just make it look kind of more like the arcade. And the one thing we may want to add, but it's not needed, is the little bomber planes that fly across the screen. Uh, they don't actually attack at all, they're just there for bonus points, so we probably should just add those in, it'll be very simple. And the only other thing is, uh, on both the Atari and the arcade one, you, you had a little cruise missile enemy as well. It, it was very basic, but it would try to avoid your, your missile explosion, so it actually moved to the side as it's coming in. Um, so I'll decide if we want to add that in too. Maybe we will just for, you know, completion's sake. But other than that, yeah, we'll we'll make a video for debugging and bug fixes and then those few little things and then we're done.